Hey everyone, Grand Drizzle Forehead here. The new Bethans Boulevard. Today I'm going to try. I know I was going to say I was going to make a St. Patrick's Day video, this is not it. I will be making one next week. Well, I'll, I'll, make it next week. I'll make it sometime later this week or next week before the 17th. But today I want to I want to make a video on Pepsi Next, which has just come uh, just become available in Canada. And it is naturally sweetened. It has 30% less sugar versus the leading regular cola. So I'm assuming this is it has less sugar than Coca-Cola or whatever. But I'm wondering on the title, Pepsi Next. Like, is there a Pepsi previous or is there going to be a Pepsi Rewind or Pepsi Fast Forward or something? Or is there going to be a Pepsi Pause? Like, that's what kind of worries me about it saying it's Pepsi Next. What the fuck does it mean for it to be Pepsi Next? Speaking of which, I might as well just use this for the day. My lucky chalice for the video. I will still use it on my St. Patrick's Day video. When I do, I don't know, when I have something else to drink. I might have some ginger ale while I'm doing something else. And like I said, GTA 5 review, if you're looking for it, Sorry to disappoint, it's not going to happen just yet. It'll happen in April. That's what I'm thinking I'm going to try to do it. Okay, enough with the boring bullshit. Let's try this. I don't want to really drink out of the can, because, well, I want to be classy today. It barely even fills it up. Honestly, that is a little disappointing. But, this is my lucky sh cup. <laughs> and, well, it's time to get lucky. It tastes like Diet Pepsi. I think like that puppy almost. It has a mixture of tasting like Diet Pepsi and Pepsi throwback. Look for the ingredients. It discriminates soda, sugar, caramel color, phosphoric acid, natural flavors. It does not and then stevia extract. Whatever the stevia or stevia extract is. Assuming it's like a replacement for aspartame or something. It's not. I'm just trying to get around. It. it doesn't taste bad or good. It tastes interesting. Like it really has an interesting taste to it. The texture is very smooth. It tastes like a normal, like any type of. It tastes like a normal Pepsi, honestly. It just, it's almost like the caffeine-free Pepsi or Diet Pepsi, because that's what it really reminds me of, the taste. But that doesn't mean it sucks. I'm just saying it doesn't taste like a normal Pepsi, and I drink Pepsi quite frequently. Many people know that I'm a Pepsi freak. Well, not Pepsi freak, but I'm a Pepsi-holic. And I know I drink it. And when I tried Pepsi Throwback, I never did a video on it. Sorry, but this is just an idea that came to me. A few weeks back. This just came to me when I first did my video. So, when I was doing the eating episode. Sorry, I'm kind of rambling here, but like I haven't, I never did a video on eating, like trying out that on Pepsi Throwback. But let's move on. All right, I definitely think this is an interesting, interesting drink. Honestly, I wouldn't say don't buy it. I'm not gonna say that. I actually think if you're a Pepsi person, you really like Pepsi, you should really try this because either my taste buds are really messed up, which they could be, or I have been smoking some really, like, I'm wrong. Either my taste buds are really messed up, or there's some really good crack cocaine in that Pepsi next. And honestly, I don't know. Really Sorry about that. But yeah, this is 
an interesting dr tasting drink. I have to give it, if I was to give it anything, Yeah, this is definitely interesting. I'm gonna have to say, um, if you really want to try this, go ahead and buy it and try it because you might actually think it's good or you might think it's bad. But nevertheless, I definitely think I'd have to give it a good. Mm, I'm gonna have to give it a good eight out of ten. This is something worth trying at least once, if. You don't have it available in wherever. If you don't have it available where you live, wait for it to do, to come out because it might. It might not. But if it is available wherever you are, if you're living in the states or excuse me, if you're living in Canada, you should definitely try this because right now it says it has 100 calories per can. Honestly, it could have more in the actual bottle itself if you buy a bottle of it. If you can, if you buy a whatever. But yeah, this is an interesting drink. I would, and I think it's kind of up there with the interesting quality taste as the chocolate cola that I tried a couple weeks back. And that was really, I don't know what to say. That was a little in too interesting for me. That was a little, ugh. Yeah, it was, I don't know, bad. This is an interesting, interesting drink. I actually recommend it to anyone that is a Pepsi fan. And the next video, I will be doing a St. Patrick's Day video, like I said. This one will be kind of St. Patrick's Day oriented a little bit because of the junk, that junk will of candy I'm going to be trying out. <sighs> but no, it's not going to be Uji Matcha Green Tea Kit Kats again. Sorry. I only do one thing usually. This is me, Pleasure of the Forehead. Pepsi next. Signing out.